Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom. Over there is Ruth from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Good morning, everybody. I'm early this morning. No, I'm actually uh, spot on time wise, right? Uh, let me get something to clean that lens. I see it's got a icky in there. It's icky. There. Oh, man. Oh, and let's, let's cover it back up again. Am I online? On that thing. Um, Oh, good morning, Kevin. How you doing? I just make sure I'm glad I'm online. Good morning, Kevin. How you doing? Lagaya, good morning. Do you notice I put in there the topic today? Air pump. <laughs> like, good morning, Kevin. How is everything? Uh, how are we doing today? Fire source. Finally, a video on air pump for tires. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <coughs> I have. I have my book here, guys. And what I do is I don't I didn't have air pump in there right uh, here, here's how I do my topics uh, starting like right here you see here's all my topics I have like 60 more topics I can talk about and uh, you see I'm running out of paper here but as I do my topics as you can see uh, like how to get a thousand subscribers watch hours and next pages and then uh, the most important let's see Let's see where that's wrong. That's going on and on. Then it comes over here, leaving and uh, learning how to uh, live in the Philippines. Uh, anyway, tires, air pump. I don't know why they don't have any air pumps. You know, I cannot buy an air pump for a car tire here. What do you mean? I may have to go to Valencia and get one. They, I'm sure they have one somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm only assuming they have one, but you can't buy one here. S. Hart, good morning, good morning. Timothy White, good morning. How we doing this morning? Mom Boone, talk to you too. Finally, heavy rain. Ah, really? Oh, Texas, uh, heavy rain, huh? Uh, we got some last night. We got quite a bit of rain last night. Uh, it was uh, pretty heavy for us. Um, Tom, I think it's just about it does it. You officially covered every subject. <laughs> No, I have more, I promise. You would think, right? You would think, right? There is no way in the world. The guy's getting desperate. He's doing a subject. And the reason why I'm saying that air pump thing is because yesterday I went to blow up my tires and sent you to town and buy a, even a, 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 you know, tire. I can't find it. So I ordered one online and it just so happened the Zada shipped me one. I'm thinking it's going to be, you know, I'm thinking the pump's going to be about this big. I would bring the pump over, but I'm ashamed. I did not look at the dimensions. They easily pump up a tires up to 150 pounds of pressure, and it's only this big. And it, as it blows, it blows. Poof, 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 <laughs> poof. <laughs> Chich is laughing in the background. Poof, poof. I had it plugged in, and I burnt the thing up. I got two tires aired up. Ten dollars, what I get paying fifteen dollars. Jay Music, good morning. Lagaya, good morning. That's hard. Try looking for a washing machine taps. Exactly. I exactly. I went on a mission. I was trying to find pegboard for my new garage. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh. I I I, I so yesterday, yeah. Good morning, John Sweeney. Good morning. How you doing this morning? Welcome, welcome on live stream this morning. Yeah, it was, uh, I, I could not believe it. In fact, uh, <clears throat> when I when I decided yesterday, and you know, I, there's a thousand other topics. What it made me think about this topic was is be be prepared for the unexpected all the time. It's just never ending. I mean, who would have thought you can't uh, fill up tires? Now you know the portable air tanks that you can just fill up and put. I don't know, 50 pound of pressure in there. You know, you used to carry them and go to the gas station, get one, borrow it, and bring it back. Get this. They doesn't. They don't even have. There's none of that available. Uh, they don't have that. And you go to the tire pressure places, they don't have anything. So, uh, I found myself uh, kidding. I kept. I hurt my own tires. What if you have a flat tire on the side of the road? You're in trouble. You have to take the tire off. Take the town. Judy, good morning. How you doing, Miss Judy? Chicha is over here. She's getting ready right now. She's going to come in and say hi. Uh, good morning, Mark King. How are we doing this morning? Hi, Judy. Bill Bryant, raining in White House. Tim, 
Mr. Bill Bryant. How you doing? I know, but you got to come show yourself, honey. You got to come say hi. So, John Sweeney, how you doing? That's Hart. How you doing, Jay? Music, thank you so much for coming on. Good to see you. Lagaya, good morning. Kevin, good morning. Buyer Sorts. Buyer Sorts. I think I'll probably come up with some more topics. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> SR, good morning, good morning. So, uh, yes, Mark King, good morning. Raining in the White House. Uh, Judy saying hi to everybody. Yeah, if you think about it, I mean, uh, I know for me, it was, uh, I woke up uh, yesterday and I said, I'm going fi to finish some tasks. And so I started on some tasks yesterday to get some finished and to try to get to, you know, uh, things that then I've been forgetting to do or not doing and get some of the things done. I washed the whole house yesterday and then uh, I did uh, some stuff we had here in the bathroom. I fixed some stuff there and I'm working on stuff. But uh, I want to get those tires aired up and you can buy uh, an air pump. So I'm going to have to look elsewhere for an air pump, even one of these. My neighbor has one, but if you have to put a piece of cloth over it and then I turn it a certain way and then get it this way and you might can get it to work. I go, it's, it was, we spent 10 minutes wasting with that yesterday and didn't get anything. British expat, good morning. A little brighter today. I tell you what, I did get sick yesterday. Uh, I, I got heat stroke years ago and uh, he got me yesterday. In fact, I, uh, I didn't use the restroom all night, which is unusual for me. And I drank probably, I don't know how many liter of water, many liters. And this morning, I didn't even use the restroom, so uh, it was uh, different. I went and uh, got my hair ready, and it's crazy. Hard rain. Yeah, you getting hard rain? How my garage is coming along, Mark? It's coming along really well. Uh, they'll finish the, uh, they, what they need to do now is they need to silicone the joints up and down. Uh, we had rain last night, and they need silicone, uh, silicone a few joints and put on two more panel and they'll be done and then the front door <clears throat> they had a time uh, with a couple of panels they had been sitting outside now almost two years and uh, getting the they spend more time taking the film off than putting the panel up the film itself the protectant film there's you know there's a layer of film vinyl on it and it takes more time taking that off because it kind of like dry rotted uh, and you know, you can take a pair of pieces this big, so they had a hard time with that. JG, good morning. How you doing, Mr. JG? How is everything? Mercury, good morning, sir. How you doing? How's Mercury and how's JG this morning? How is everybody? Uh, hopefully everybody's doing well this morning. Uh, JG Mercury. Hi, Judy. Miss Judy. Are you going to have roll-up or swing-out? You know what? We talked about the roll-up doors. <coughs> Very expensive. <coughs> Very expensive for those roll-ups. I did not realize those roll-ups are that expensive. So what we're going to do is we're going to swing out. They wanted to uh, do a roll-out like this way. I said, no, 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 because been there experience with that. As you know, the ground gets uneven. <clears throat> Take one rock, throw it off the caliper or that when you just roll it out this way. <clears throat> I don't want to do that. So what I decided to do is, is just don't have, we're going to have one door, a door uh, for entry. Say you don't want to open up the garage, you go in the, the thing. And, you know, it's just a regular door. And then you're going to have it where the door can open and then the garage can open. So just put in concrete. Uh, and, and seal it as much as possible. I know it is, I wanted a better seal on the garage. Um, we're going to lose light duty steel because I ran out of sandwich panel. By me extending the garage, caused me to use more sandwich panel. So good morning, Miss Judy. Lagaya is uh, she's saying hi to Lagaya and Kevin and Timothy and S S Hart, uh, Timothy White, Bill, British expat, J G Mercury. Uh, Judy saying hi. Anthony Keller, good morning, sir. How you doing this morning? Welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, went from thirty Celsius to fourteen point five Celsius overnight. Wow, that is cool. Uh, so why don't they sell air pumps? They just do not. They don't sell it. In fact, you can't even buy a, a tire pump. None in town. Did you come home with one? It's a, it's a, it was, you guys, said, you know, basketball pump and for volleyball, volleyball, she brought home one of those. 
six dollars. Well, that's not going to air up a tire because what pressure you put in is going to come right back out, as you guys would know. You know, so it's going to be really. Uh, so I, I, I'll have to figure out and try to find me an air pump somewhere. Order one online. Can't. No air pumps. Excuse me. That's the problem. David Blair, good morning, David. How you doing from uh, Ohio? How you doing? Uh, an Australia tilt door is great. <coughs> yeah, exactly. It's a tilt door is great. It's really a great idea. And we were thinking about tilting, but it, it would be over my guy's head to put a tilt door or even a roll up door. And you guys know that the roll up doors are great and fantastic. Uh, they, the problem is, is the, the rollers themselves, you know, like garage doors is a roller themselves. Uh, so I said, I, why don't we just do the old standard standby? We'll just a, do a swing door all, all the way open and then put, uh, they suggested a door, which is a great idea. My wife suggested a door. So when I don't have to, when you go in the garage, say you're going to get a hammer, uh, it's right there. You just go grab the hammer and, and open the door. Don't have to open up the garage to get in. I'm sure you can get a small air compressor on eBay. You know what, Rick? I uh, I, I looked for that. Yeah, I did look for one. Uh, the problem is $30 shipping here. Uh, what I did was I ordered one from Lazada. I could not find the, you know, you guys, you know, the ones you, you, you stand on and you pump up like this. I couldn't find those. And yesterday I got an email uh, that I can buy those at Lazada. So I, I may just end up buying one of those, you know, it's, thirty dollars fine I don't care air up a tire there's no way you can air up a tire here even if you take it to town you can uh, vulcanize the shop across the, over there my vulcanizing shop is right up over here but I have to take the tires off to do it I'm not doing that I'm not doing it <clears throat> fall weather is close we had a record heat for the past week <clears throat> fall weather is here and you know what for us here uh, I thought it'd get uh, actually cooler, but it actually got hotter uh, here. Uh, I just want Chit Chit's got to go over next door and do uh, some stuff. Um, Where is the silicone? The silicone yeah. that you bought right there. Come and say hi to everybody. Uh, hi, Rick. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, uh, Michael and Heidi, I owe you a gratitude. <laughs> I owe you so much. Michael Michael went to my old house. Here is my beautiful wife. I say hi, hi to Jay. What do you got on, darling? Jacket. A jacket. Hi, Judy. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. How you do, darling? I'm tired. You're tired. Show them what you have in your hand. Uh, she has three or four it's loads of laundry. Different along color. The, different color. And I, you know what? I missed my wife this morning. Yeah, okay. I owe Michael and Heidi a debt of gratitude. They went to my house where I was uh, like five-year-old and uh, uh, was raised, and he did a video. And, yes, that was exactly where I lived. So thank you so much for that. Uh, shout out to you, sir, and thank you for spending your valuable time going and do that. It meant so much to my brother. He cried. So there you go. Uh, he cried. Uh, thank you so much. Only and so God bless. Ace Hardware in the mall. <clears throat> we may have to try Ace Hardware. That's a great idea. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Screw it. Do they have not have two truck there? No. I do not. No tow truck here. No two truck. No two truck. No tow truck. We have relatives. Have the relatives they push it down the road. Actually, you can get someone to tow it. <coughs> they have rescue here, but it costs quite a bit. Good morning, Scott Bears. What happened? Oh, you cut your finger? Yeah. Good morning, Scott. Is go to box. Go to the box for the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing. Scoot, hello. Tom, watch the electric pumps. They only run about five minutes the time they burn up. Uh yeah, thank you so much. It's too late. I burnt that one up. It's gone. I run it about 10 minutes, 15 minutes at a time, and I forgot I left it on out there as I was doing a project there in the it's, house. It's, it's it burned it up. started smoking. So, see ya. There goes that air pump. 
Hello, Mercury. Mercury, oh. House. Oh. Flying turtle, Danny Stout. Danny Stout, how Danny you doing? Stout next to you. Yeah, Danny Stout next to me. So Danny Stout's on live stream after me today, guys. I'm so, kissing a pan for Tom. A pan. Pop him, man. Pop him. Yeah, exactly. I just finished my laundry, too. Worst job ever. Yeah, it's very tiring. Very tiring. She does it all by... She washes them and then rinses them. I, she does it different than I do it. R and I have a program. We do it. She does hers differently. Uh, if she's gone, R and I do laundry. Uh, and we get her done. Chit Chit gets her done, too. Uh, she just does a lot, old-fashioned, a lot by washing. Uh, I will... Wash. <clears throat> I will buy her a automatic dishwasher machine. We have a washer. Uh, it's not automatic. It's you turn it on, you wash it, and then you rinse. You have to put water in and rinse it. You have to do it all yourself. All it does is spin. Uh, just stop raining, but radar is showing more on the way. So really, Timothy, you're getting a lot of rain, huh? We uh, we got some last night. Yeah, so hard. Heavy rain. It was hot, man. Hot yesterday. Yeah. Kevin Ash, good morning, Kevin. Hmm. Ruth has a cute cat. Just expect Topis, good morning. Good morning. Jessa Barcoma. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Jessa Barcoma. Good morning. Did you sell a compressor in Lazada? But a decent one. <coughs> Cost about 10. And uh, the ones I got was uh, crap. It did not last. Chinese. It lasted uh, 10 minutes. I mean, uh, one day. One day. Uh, Daddy Stout saying hi to everybody. Scott, JG, be gay. Kevin, Judy, all. Good morning, JL. JL, good morning. JL, good morning. How you doing, JL? Uh, you're welcome, welcome, Michael. Good to hear your brother enjoyed it. It was going to say to watch it on your laptop for bigger screen. It worked out really well. You did a good job, and thank you for doing that. that I'm saving that bad boy. Uh, it's a house I grew up in. Boy, it's changed. Things change, you know, as you as you go to older, how things change so much. But it was good to see that, that old, old homestead. I mean, when we lived there, it was all flat land, nothing. There was no trees, nothing. So, <clears throat> everybody's saying hi to everybody. A British expat is, uh, Tom, you mean you do not have the hand crank washer? <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. I, I have to hand crank it myself. Meaning, when I go do laundry, I'm a maniac. I mean, I get it and I turn it myself, too. Dishwasher, I thought that was part of his chores. Dishwasher, washing machine, all is, uh, I'm tired of being dishwasher around this house. <laughs> <laughs> I am just so fed up with being a dishwasher here. Tom, you look at Powerhouse Air Compressor, about 10K okay. delivery. Man, Scott, uh, I do I do need one, but how many times am I going to need an air compressor, really? Um, it's like... Just a portable hand pump or something like that, you know, or a, uh, this one you just plug in your cigarette lighter, man, it burn it up. It's it's gone. So now I still need to air up two other tires. It's really low. They're low. They're almost touching the ground. And uh, there's no there's no there's no way for me to air up those tires. No way. I I guess I have to go to Valencia or CDO or Davo and find one. And surely they'll have one. <clears throat> it was so nice. When I saw it, I saw it, I was so happy. I sent it to my brother. Uh, he really loved it, and he's so excited about it. Um, and my other brother looked at it. He was, he's, he's just, they could not believe it. They looked at it 20 times each, he said. Uh, Richard even showed some of his co-workers. Tom's hand crank washer is sitting next to him. It's Chit Chit Mom. <laughs> Chit Chit. Do you like hand crank? No. No. Do, uh, do you like washing doing laundry? Yeah, I don't like doing laundry. I hate laundry. Yeah, as you grow up, those houses grow up and get smaller too, don't they? This is like it's a big area. And I, I told, he went around to call the sac where I used to live and come back around. It's just, it was nice. It was nice. I mean, I'm not there. Counting down. Oh, 58 more days. Mm. Shout out to you, Mr. J. Al. Congratulations. I'm happy you're coming down this way. Uh, Philippines, I know you're excited. There's so many people actually moving here. Eddie, I will hang close. Oh, you're going to hang close now because workers are here for the garage? Okay. Yeah, because I will do the silicone. Oh, you're going to do silicone too? Uh, you know how to apply it? Yeah. At all? I mean, you cut it? Okay. Who apply this? Uh, that's true. I forgot. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, yes. I let her brother do it and he used uh, 
three tubes so fast that I have no idea why. <clears throat> Just, yeah, we'll get three tubes and it'll be perfect. Bye. Bye, darling. Thank Bye, you. Huh? Thank you for spending valuable time, darling. Yes. Okay. I want you to have fun over there. It's not fun. I know. I, I miss you already. <clears throat> yeah. <coughs> yeah, Tom, I was thinking to watch you on my 65-inch thing, then I got scared of thinking seeing your... <laughs> Mark King, I know. Yeah, you don't want to see this big old mug up there. It's funny. It's really funny. I was I was uh, looking at Michael and Heidi when they did that, you know, it's such a little thing. And I'm down there and I'm looking, you know. And it's amazing how much we get so used to things. And we expect it to be bigger and better and this and that. And it's amazing how things have changed back in the day, you know. And really, I mean, Michael is there. And... I mean, he's there, there where I live, Prescott there. He's right down the road there. I mean, the Indian Reservation is right there. So, you know, it tells you how uh, the whole world's changing so much. Um, Michael, big change. The whole neighborhood is full. Big trees. It's a busy location in the city now. Yeah, in fact, that area was out and about. And there was only about uh, 15 houses on the whole subdivision for many years because people couldn't afford it there. Uh, and it's the same old story. You guys understand that. Uh, I didn't, I had a next door neighbor, and we had neighbors down the street would, would play as kids, but uh, it, on the other side of town was really more popular, and uh, I had to walk quite a ways to go to school. There was a school there that we, I was close for my elementary, but the others I had to walk, walk quite a ways. Now, the high school was close, so that worked out. They built a new high school there. So, good morning. As much as Emily talks, she can blow up that tire in one breath. I'll tell her you said that. <laughs> no, I tell you what. Uh, we, uh, I spent, uh, I tried air pump. Borrow the neighbor's air pump. He has one. I borrowed it. I said, I'll pump it up. Just give me that thing. Hook it up. Well, you had to put a piece of cloth over it. Then you had to turn it a certain way. I said, what, what's wrong with it? Well, it's broke. Well, I, and I air mine, but I have to do it this way. And turn the handle like this. And so you air when you air it. I said, forget it. I'm airing up a tire. Forget it. So, yeah, it was, well, the rubber piece wore out. This, I said, oh, man. I'm buying him a tire pump. I'm going to buy him, buy him a tire pump. If I, if I need to go to town, he takes me. If I need something, he takes me. If I need to go and say, hey, go get me two rolls of this. Here's the money. Here, go to town and get it and bring it back. Uh, I'm buying him an air pump. I can't believe it. <clears throat> Hello, James and Emily. It's just saying, Kevin. Can you buy a tank that holds up to 100 PSI fill at a gas station? Whatever. Tanks to fill out made 14-inch diamond. Kevin, you can. I don't have any. They don't have any here in the Philippines. What a good business idea, huh? So, no, there's no there's no uh, portable air compressor tanks that you can actually do that. I was looking for one. I have them. So, say, for instance, a guy has a flat tire. I guess they're afraid of letting somebody borrow it. They won't bring it back. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I uh, look for that and can't get it. And so... Yeah, I'm still in a dilemma about my tires. Car's running. Car's running fine. Cranks it right up. Runs fine. Does a great job. You need a 1950 Ringer washer. I know you mean find an original one. <laughs> I tell you what we do. Uh, I'm buying her a washing machine. Uh, I'm thinking about Christmas, but that's the wrong time to buy her a washing machine. I want her to get something else other than work item. I'm going to get her a a good wash machine that she can use uh, that is I don't have to worry about it you know Tom take the tires off put them in a bucket a puddle of water find the leak and then plug them yeah it's there's no leak on them it's low where the car has been setting for eight months <clears throat> but the car I cranked it up and had I had enough air where I could move it you know and I backed it around and moved it and straightened it out uh, but I really need to air up those tires it runs fine. Air con, I, somebody flipped the air con on and the air con was running and I left it running. I put some more gas in it and the car's running fine. Transmission's slipping though. I wish I could move there now. I'm not old enough to retire. Right, JL, I tell you what, I wish you could. I wish you could. I wish you uh, could just scoot on over here and I wish you could. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry you can't, you know. If I was a billionaire, I'd tell you, just come on over. Here's X amount of dollars. Go do it. But I'm not. Judy, it's for nice to do for a good man like Tom. I, you know what? 
I, I, I really appreciate it. I, you know what? Really, from the bottom of my heart, I really do. Hello, everyone. Just woke up. James and Lily from Afternoon Snooze. Uh, wake up and stay up. Good morning, Jim Allner. I appreciate you coming on, guys. All you guys, valuable subscribers. A British expat. When I first came to the Philippines, I got an auto wash machine. But Jane still says she does it better by hand. I, I, if I buy one, I don't know if it's going to be a waste of money. But I'm going to get her an automatic machine. I'm going to actually put it in the garage. I'm going to actually put the wash machine in the garage. And uh, there's many things going in that garage. It's big enough I can put a car and I can put a washing machine and two motorcycles in there, no problem. <laughs> and I can put all my tools in there and I can hang them up and I put my shovels in there, all her stuff. I'm going to make a table, put it on. Uh, it was, Judy, it was. It was very kind of Michael and Heidi to do that. How about this? I thought of Tom enough that I take out the time. I'm going to drive. I don't know where he comes from, Phoenix, wherever. It's what, 100, 100 miles, uh, Scott, Mike, Michael? Anyway, it takes time to go up and do that. I mean, come on. There's not that many people to do that. So God bless you, Mike. So God bless you. Shout out to you, my friend. You're a good guy. You really are a good guy. You really are a good guy. And you know what? We will all meet someday. Hopefully, Michael, I tell you what, hopefully you come back in time next year. You'll be back, I think, unless you're there for a while. Um... And I know you're trying to get your beautiful wife there to the U.S. for a while, but maybe you can come back. How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Mitch? How is everything? And thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. I really appreciate it. I'm home working for a Harry Potter commercial. <clears throat> hey, put me in there. Put me as a... a no, I, I don't want to be a troll. For you. Look at my... It's me and my wife. Where was me at? There was no me. JG, did you see a me in there? There was no me. A Scott and his wife. Did you see his video? He had B Joy in there. No, no Scott. Yeah, Lazada, Lazada. Yeah, I'm at the one with Lazada. I spent 20 minutes in the land of super chat trying to send 100 pesos. <laughs> um, there, uh, there. I got an email. I said, you may need to change your settings if uh, on Super Chat if you're going to send Super Chat anymore. Oh, what the heck? What do you mean? And it's on Google Pay, Google. I want to change my settings. I looked at it, looked at detail, and I looked at it. I go, it's a spam. It was spam. It was spam. It said YouTube, all stuff. And I got to looking at it and look from sender. And a sender, it was, it was like uh, YouTube and then at rr dot. Something, something, dot, something else. Hey, trying to get your info. What? 35 watching, only 13 thumbs up. Let's go. JG saying. Thank you. Thank you, JG. <coughs> thank you, uh, Mitch. You know, I, in the Philippines, there's this there's this cough that you get. Maybe it's the air con. I don't know. But I, uh, 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 Alton had it. And he had no air con. At 88, he never had an air con. Well, here, uh, he didn't use it. I mean, he never turned it on. He's too cheap. He said, I ain't turned it on. It cost me money. My bill went up to $40, and I am not paying it. Uh, JG, so Jim on JL. I, have you ever thought about buying a washer-dryer combination in one unit? I did. I did. I did. And that's my thought. My thought is a washer-dryer combination. And just put it in there, let it go, and then she pulls them out. And I would like to do that. They have them. Her sister has one. Her, uh... Two of her sisters have one. Wash the dryer from Korea. They're Korean. They're Korean made. They work really good. <clears throat> and I, th I still think they do them by hand. Bill Bryant is saying hello, everyone. How you doing, Mr. Bill? Wash machine in the garage. You can keep Chi-Chi in the garage. <laughs> um, that garage is going to get hot. And I noticed that yesterday. It's just a box sandwich panel. Uh, so I'm going to have to put a window in it. I ain't doing it today. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna average out what that whole thing cost me, so you guys can break it down and you guys see exactly what it cost me from the labor, the steel, all that exactly to the T, and then figure a window X amount of dollars, and I'm gonna add a window, and I'm gonna add a fan in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna make it work and go in and make something. Uh, so you know we can have that a stackable stackable unit. 
I got my wife one of those. We'd love it. Anthony says, I tell you what, I, they have them here. It's a, it's a, uh, you know, front load, washer, dryer, all combo, all in one, digital, really nice, really nice. You can buy them. I can buy one in the surplus store, but I'm not buying them. I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy new. It's going to cost a thousand dollars, but it's worth it. No washer, dryer combos, one breaks, you have buy two. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, I'm going to get one, uh, probably a Samsung or something that's easy to be workable. They do work on them here, and the mechanics are good. I did check on that. Not like my uh, aircon I bought, spur of the moment. Scott, I ordered that. <clears throat> and credit card says, uh, try again later. I ordered during the storm. They took out the money. And somewhere along the lines, I must hit the button twice. Uh, so now I got two motors coming. I tried to cancel one of the motors for this uh, aircon, and the, as of this morning, still not canceled. So, <laughs> not stackable in all in one machine. Yeah, <clears throat> it's all one machine. It's uh, all digital. Front load, uh, uh, man. I don't know. Uh, I forget the ki uh, kilograms. Uh, I don't remember, 10 kilo, 15 kilo, or laundry, or maybe more, I don't know. Anyway, it, you wash it, it dries it, well, rinses it, you can put softener in it, and it dries it all in one machine. And when it's done, you just pull them out uh, and ready to go. Buying a standalone dryer and penis is hard to find. They hang the clothes out to dry. JHS is exactly what she's doing today. She has probably about five loads of laundry that she's doing, and uh, she's hanging them all out. So, I would be back in the Philippines before February. Awesome. Well, I tell you what, uh, you get it back in uh, back in Jinsan, uh, maybe we'll have to figure out how we can meet sometime, friend. Keep trying the video last night, sunset. It keep coming out with bad color. Couldn't figure out why. Helps clean camera lens every once in a while. Yeah, not only that, I had to, you don't see it here, but I had one of those blue things that uh, <coughs> clean. <coughs> And I had to clean the screen this morning. It was so bad you couldn't even you couldn't even see anything. Yeah, when I moved to Arizona, I had been having this dry cough every now and then. I tell you what, I have this dry cough, and it's always on and off, on and off. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to give you a thumbs down just to make sure it works. LOL. Okay, Mr. Mitch, no worries, my friend. Uh, I, I appreciate your, your super chat, and I appreciate your thumbs down. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, Awesome, awesome. Most of the washers with dryers, it's just the washer that spins faster for a longer time. What Bud Brown's video on his new combo wash dryer? Watch it? No, okay. Okay, I, did, I didn't know he, he had one. Oh, he's getting sophisticated now. He got some money. Uh, I like Bud Brown. He's a good guy. My grandmother had one of those washer dryer combos in the 40s. Never saw them after that until a few years later in Europe. We had, uh, they have many here. They have washer-dryer combos like the machine I have, and they call it washer-dryer. And basically what the other one does, it just spins it dry. And all it is is just a spinner. But it can only hold about three, four kilo at a time. Uh, Tom, you know those washboards never fail, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I was using a uh, saw and cutting some steel yesterday, and uh, um, uh, it's amazing how much, Guys, that you forget. I'm going to say something too. Guys, you come into the Philippines, men and women. Uh, Judy, you come to the Philippines. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Make sure you get some type of exercise. I found yesterday that getting up and down off the floor was really a challenge for me. And I said, Ah, that's it. That's it. I got angry at myself. That's it. I used to jump up and down, no worries, uh, maneuver around. Even though I'm 64. Uh, I still maneuver around really well. Uh, I sometimes wear out the younger guys. I said yesterday my stamina is really diminished. I couldn't get up and down, so I tell you what, I'm gonna start back in stretching and walking and stuff again more than I have been. I have a combination wash dryer. They never use the dryer part. After spinning 15, the clothes are virtually dry, and two minutes in the Florida sun, they're all done. Yeah, here, same thing. <clears throat> The thing of it is, the problem is, honestly, is the trees and the shade where we're at. Trees kill us here. <coughs> Excuse me. I doubt the electrical grid 
Yeah, that's good. It probably would not handle the close drive like they have here. Yeah, you wouldn't. It would probably be burn it up. <coughs> Every little thing messes up the grid here. Hello, Jeff. Jam, how you doing, sir? Thank you. Thank you for coming on. They, 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 the grid itself is tougher here. The grid itself is tougher here. I mean, uh, less, less working. Am I on time? I'm about two minutes behind. Jeb Jam, what the world wants to know. Jeb Jam, how do you stay healthy? You stay healthy, you just don't eat junk. I got to tell you something. I'm going to do a video on it. My uh, Chicha's uncle got a, you guys got to be careful what you eat here in the Philippines. Now, this is something that's really important. If you guys don't listen to me on anything I ever do, listen to this. Be careful what fish you buy, where you buy it, what type of fish it is, and what brand of fish it is. Be careful on some of that stuff. Her uncle got spiromen, I can't even say it, spiromentosis. Okay, excuse the word, spiromentosis. Now, what is that? That is a worm or a amoeba goes into your system, attacks your kidneys and liver, embeds there forever until you die. It is something that causes you some type of discomfort, and you can get it from just about anything. A lot of times it comes from water that is spoiled or bad. Come, maybe, say, for instance, where he got his, he said. He knows now. Uh, they had a rice field. Uh, they filled the rice field, no more rice, but put tilapia in there. And tilapia had gotten that particular worm, that, that, that virus. You can get it from snail. You can get it from worm. You can get it from all these other things. What Tomorrow's Sabbath, so tomorrow afternoon we're going to go visit him uh, after our service and uh, bring him some goodies and things like that. So he's in pain. His kidney is in pain. Now, what does it? It attacks you, and uh, it's just like, how, how can I say? <clears throat> the worm is active, just causes you discomfort. You cannot die from it, but it can make you just uncomfortable. Now, the doctor says, you're going to laugh at this, eat jackfruit in the morning. Worsens that makes the worm weak. Jackfruit will make the worm weak. And you can function better during the day, but you got to find jackfruit and have some every morning of your day. So can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? It's a, it's a, it's a, I just got to say a virus. It's non-contagious. You cannot catch it from each other. It's just something that, it's just the way life is. Uh, the washer and dryer you have, used 110 volt, does it get hot enough to need an outside vent? Yeah, the, the, we use, this is house 110, S220 over there. That washing machine work, works here, 110, and it works 220. Uh, it's a plug, but uh, washer, dryer set up, yes. And they uh, they don't have a vent on them. They have, <clears throat> they just spin it so fast and so long that it dries it. It comes out damp, very lightly damp. How can I say this? Uh, like a spring shower. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making it. Jab, jab. Greetings, Mr. B. How you doing, Mr. B? And thank you for coming on, Mr. B. Uh, check out Strange Noise. Uh, JG, you following me? Uh, Philippines food is yummy, especially the snakes. You ever think about buying an electric bike that you can pedal assist or possibly go all electric on the same bicycle? Jim, I have them. Those bikes that I have are, are you can bicycle. Those scooters I have are battery. <clears throat> you plug them in. Gives you 50 kilometers a day. I think you probably get about 30 to 40 good kilometers out of, honestly. Um, I need to get batteries for them, but uh, you, you can pedal assist. So you're going up a mountain, you're not getting it, you just pedal assist it. Uh, it's too small for my legs, but it's perfect for uh, the Filipinos here. Uh, Chichi uses it. Chichi's used it. So, yeah, we have them. Uh, $400 delivered here. They're electric. You plug them in, cost a few pesos a night to charge it up. Uh, gives, uh, it has alarms, it has everything on it, lights, uh, LED lights. Uh, it has, uh, it's really not, they're nice. Uh, they hold two passengers. Chicha just took mine yesterday because she has, still has a flat on hers. Uh, we haven't taken it off yet. It's just so many projects. You guys know what I mean, projects? I said I'd take on the garage and the car at the same time. And then uh, we had a leak in the bathroom. Uh, I fixed that. And then something else happened. What else happened? Something else happened. Oh, a leak underneath the sink. And it was all caused by uh, people underneath the sink playing and, and getting stuff out of there and not paying attention with the grabbing. 
and you jerk it on the hoses. Spiral meningitis cook everything burnt. Yeah, this this uh, they cook this fish. Uh, it's a you can't see it. Uh, no matter how how good you uh, cook it. Spinomen. I don't have Chich's phone. Spinomentosis. It's called. No, it's not spiromentosis. It's called. It's, it's called. I, I'll have to look it up. Now that's sweet, JG. When all sweet and love, naughty one brings out the spoon. I always told that I should buy a motor. I say they would make me lazy. It's only a kilometer store, so I walk. Everything in day is the key. Yeah, walking's the key. And I tell you what, Mr. B. Uh, uh, you get you get complacent, you get uh, lazy, uh, and since I'm retired now, uh, I go down, I do stuff, uh, I do things, but uh, not as much as I used to. In other words, I'm not cutting down a big oak tree in the backyard, chopping that thing up, and put it in a million pieces and burning a burn pile, and then uh, weeding five acres all in one day like I used to do all the time. And now I couldn't even uh, you know pick up a chainsaw and hold it for 20 minutes. So it's like, uh, it's amazing how much you depreciate. So you got to keep busy, that's for sure. Going downtown to eat, have a wonderful day. Thank you, James Ducut. Thank you so much for coming in, my friend, and have a good day. You guys remember, James has a challenge, so check him out. 250 takes half as much amperage as 110. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, night, James. Brownhouse, uh, you know why I did the 110? You want me to tell you what I did the 110? <clears throat> uh, long story short, I did the 110 because of uh, 220 was uh, too many surges. Uh, I have too many problems with uh, fans blowing up, uh, not blowing up, burning. I'd buy a fan, keep it for three months and burn it up. Uh, we burn up a wash machine with the surges because... Boom! They put the power to it. it. Pops that thing for you. Know, go. Huh? There goes a the light. There goes another light. Power surges, and I'm talking power surges. They're, I don't know how they regulate it. I don't know what they're doing. So I lost. I, this is probably my tenth fan here in the Philippines, except here. I put this one ten. I've not lost any appliance, any refrigerator, any TV, anything, because. Uh, the surges will kill you. 110, 110 for some reason, since we're just using that one leg, 110, the surge comes in, it's not affecting it. You can actually see this light's off, and you can see this light flicker on. It'll go on. You barely see it coming on. At nighttime, it's like Christmas tree lights in the house. It, what is that because of, right? It's power, power surges. Neighbors have them. Neighbors telling me they burn out LEDs all the time because they're 220. Well, actually 230. It's, it's, it's actually 230 here. Let's see what's this one running. Yeah. No, it's, it's two, 222 right now. 222 volts. It runs at 222, 225, and, and I regulate it with my... Now, the solar is set up at 220. This is running on 220. My solar stuff at 220. My 220 is set around the fridge, and it's running that. And you can see the power surge is coming in. I got, sorry, got off on. Yeah, uh, fish, 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 uh, some meats. Uh, you can get them from vegetables, and you can get them from fruit. I said, fruit, how about lanzunis? I love lanzunis. This is just the first one they go after. How about uh, the, the the hard one out there, like, like the orange, like grapefruit? Oh, no, no, you're fine with that. So, be, yeah. Careful on all the all these things here. Uh, yeah, bye bye. Let's see, no lobster, no crab. Yeah, gotta go. Bad internet, last day. Uh, bad internet there. How is my internet? My internet should be running good. We have the booster on; it's running full service. Yeah, we're uh, we should be going good. I have shellfish allergy. You have EPI. Morning, M. Jane. How you doing, M. Jane? Can you say surge protector? Got them on. Everything's got a surge protector. Don't work. I got the best you could buy. I even bought a UPS. Uh, yeah, they surge. It still it still pops. Uh, surge protector. You can do the whole house. That, now that can cost you something. I talked to electric company by doing that, and it's kind of over their head. Uh, a lot of things, guys. We're in the Philippines, man. A lot of things are 
over their head. I, what I mean by that is, is I went to go get net metering for my solar. Well, we don't do that here. We do it in CDL, but we don't do that here. It costs two hundred dollars per box, and we're not going to spend that. I said, "You won't do it." No, we won't do it. And why are you getting solar? Guy got mad at me. We need to inspect your house because you got solar. And so we kind of backed off the situation. I said, "Well, forget it then." So you're telling me uh, that you, you're not going to help me with my solar? He says, "Yeah, that's what I'm telling." Uh, so how is everyone, Jeremy and Jen? How you doing, Jeremy? How is everything? Uh, hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, in fact, my my uh, I've got a spinning circle on top of your face. Let me see here. Uh, let's go here. Uh, let's go over. It's right. All right. How about that? Uh, I was on my one. It's outside there, and I don't. I just, uh, how about this one? Span sound forty nine days ago. Jeremy and Jen, awesome. Stopping in for a little bit for before you head out. How about now? Is is the circle better now, guys? Is it better? Is it better? Uh, MJ saying good morning. Good morning. Hi, Jeremy and Jen. JG, Merck, guys, how is it? Judy, am I good? Am I coming in okay? Better, okay, better, okay, sorry about that. Uh, uh, we put the, we have this new router, or excuse me, this, uh, what do you call that, guys? Extender, right? And it works, I, it seems to be working, it seems to be working better. Better, 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 same, same. Uh, it's okay, okay, it's okay. You're not spinning now, okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, I, is anything perfect? No. I can uh, now also hook my, uh, I can't think today, sorry about that, uh, my, was it RS-232? I don't know what that is there uh, for my Ethernet. Hi, James. James, you're coming in fine. Circle, okay. There's not just a, how about, is it still spinning on my face? Man, what is going on here? Hi, Shimshi, uh, get you. Good morning, Graham. How you doing, Mr. Graham? How is everything? Uh, okay, now, spinning, but me, I'm spinning. Joke. <laughs> <coughs> You're spinning, MJ. You're spinning. Awesome. You're spinning. I'm spinning, too. It's been much better since you got the wireless router. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed that, too. No spinning. I actually I noticed that too. It's uh, worked a lot better. Just just as you notice a neighbor coming around, uh, using uh, standing using YouTube, and I said, "Honey, these are all uh, secure internets. How could he even get uh, onto our internet?" She says, "He's out there playing YouTube, and Data's not gonna play that good at YouTube." I said, "Well, honey, we got three internet companies, and they're all secure. How in the world is the guy gonna know the passwords on all three, and each one of them separate? It's different names all the way around. It's not the same one." I said, it's going to get fine one. So she she blocked him. Uh, coming in fine. Mark says I'm spinning. Uh, I'm not spinning now. Okay, we really are in tandem tonight, Judy. Yeah, exactly. Good morning, Aaron Walker. Aaron, how are you? I am very well. Aaron Walker, how you doing? How is Mr. Aaron Walker? Uh, yes, hello, Graham. Mitch is saying hello. Uh, Mitch... <clears throat> I want to be in one of those commercials when I come there. Can I get it? Can I get in there? I, uh, R, R, R and Chichi want to get a job there. Um, uh, update update on our visas. We uh, Chichi and I decided to uh, wait on our visas. See what's going on on October the fifteenth. Uh, I talked to my attorney. He says no matter what you do, even if you file the papers before October the fifteenth, they're going to reevaluate you eight months from now when you get approved. And they're going to reevaluate you, and they're going to require you to come up with the uh, $62,000, $64,000 a year on the new income requirements. And I guess what I was, uh, my attorney and I were talking about, I said, well, we, we in the beginning, saw it was 41000 He said, well, he says, uh, what it is, uh, they, they found a, another passage in that USCIS thing that uh, it's 62 now. I said, oh. Good morning, Dave Paul. Good morning. How you doing? I'm getting you loud and clear. Good picture in Australia. Good. High five. <clears throat> the weather a bit cooler nowadays. Uh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. I was felt like an. I felt like I was in an oven yesterday. It's so hot out there. Uh, right now it is hot. It's so hot. We're uh, the controllers pull uh, pulling in 800 watts right now, throwing it off because we only have maybe uh, 
60 watts we're using in the house. So, <clears throat> Aaron Welker, not Walker. Well, hello, Aaron Welker. I am so sorry. Uh, welcome, welcome on our live stream today. Great minds think alike. Welcome, sensitive. Uh, JG Aaron Welker yeah uh, Mr. JG says don't be so sensitive <laughs> you're doing okay in Manila hey Dave Mitt Tom it's easy, it's easy to find what internet passwords daddy Tom <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah yeah you you would think that right Mitch <clears throat> they use uh, Titia has got her secret I don't even know what they are she said I told you like that you know I said well, put it in there put it in there for me and I said, you don't even remember. She's laughing. She goes, yeah, you're right, I don't. Hello, my name is Cucabello. Cucabelludo. Hello, Cucabelludo. Good morning. How are you? Welcome, welcome. If I mispronounce it, I'm sorry. I've been thinking about those sandwich pounds. It could be a simple way to get a quick temporary structure that is livable. Graham, it really is, my friend. You got some of the best sandwich pound right there where you're at. Aren't you in Australia? Uh, you can actually ship those bad boys here. They're selling those panels. These, these panels are going for 60 bucks here. There's a place in Manila that you can actually buy these panels, but the quality is not there. And what I mean by the quality is they're, they're, they're in other words, you put the uh, styrofoam inside, they actually glue it. And when they glue the styrofoam, the glue on the styrofoam, and they're not putting, uh, it costs money for the glue, I guess. I don't know. And so they're not putting all glue in there, and so the panels will pop off. Now these here, you can't get the panels off. There's no way in the world. Uh, uh, they uh, China used some heavy glue, but uh, I tell you what, I am a sandwich panel kind of guy now. Uh, the only thing you'll have to do is, and to make it livable, just make sure you put a fan in it because it, it gets good airflow, and the airflow is fine. But in uh, if you got in a shady area, you're fine. Um, because heat coming on top of that, it gets hot. Now, how hot it is, I don't, I don't know. It does, it's not unbearable. I mean, I have a small aircon, one horse. It cools this whole house right now, because my other aircon's in there. So, uh, and I put it on for about uh, uh, eight in the morning, and I'll leave it on till about seven, eight tonight. Uh, let's see, JG. Good morning, Tom. I hope you're doing well. Ronald Ballard, I sure am. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you. Aaron Welker, no need to yell, but <laughs> good morning, kid. I hope you're well. Thank you, thank you. I'm doing really well, Ronald. Thank you, kid I. Hello, Cucabella. How you doing this morning? Welcome, welcome on our live stream today. Today, we have a good live stream. We have a good live stream uh, show after our today. It's going to be Danny Stout is going to be on. Uh, she has put together a plan that if you guys want to do live streams, all you guys do is contact JG and let him know, I want to do live streams uh, before this. I want to do live streams. When can I do live streams? And JG has set you up, and then we'll all support each other. So what that means is if you want to do a live stream before someone, before Chi, before Chi Taurus or Emily or JG or Scott or any of those guys, just give it to and he'll watch in and just let, he'll let everybody know one way or another. So we'll all have a pretty good stream. I, I think the hardest thing in the world, as you guys know, is building your channel and get it up to a certain amount. Now, something, uh, shout out to Mr. Marcus Shumay. He got 1,000 subs, and he says he has the 1,000 watch hours. Congratulations to him, and then hopefully he'll get monetized. And he'll get to make a dollar to two dollars on every video he puts out, like all of us. And uh, fantastic for that. Uh the, the, the thing, uh, I actually made $4 on a video, and I, I about uh, laughed so hard. It's one I did four minutes the other day. I made $4.32 uh, on. Uh, I was excited. Uh, what it is is a lot of times, you guys know, if you watch through all the ads and watch the video, at least three minutes of the video or two minutes, uh, you know, uh, grin and bear it. It really helps the other guy so much. Uh, any any kind of streams or anything like that, even if it's a live stream, if you could watch the first five minutes, it really helps out the guy. It really does. I never yell. <laughs> but good morning, Aaron. Aaron Welker, good morning. It's okay. Uh, thanks for coming on, my friend. I will check out the Australian panels. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, Graham, they, they actually got some pretty good panels. You can actually uh, ship them here. 
uh, probably from Australia better than you can from China. These are China panels. These are, of course, one meter by two and a half meter, 10 foot, 10 foot ceilings. Uh, and garage is 10 feet. Uh, I actually love the garage. I, I'll just be honest with you. What a smart thing for me to do. It's a simple thing. There are three days into this job now. It's well started. Well, wait, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days into the job. All will be done except the front door and the front door they'll have to actually probably pre-make it and put it on. So five days we can have a really nice, so that kind of gives you an idea on a house, right? How about having a house less than a week, two weeks? And include the plumbing. It's really easy to install electric in there. You can actually run the electric outside and put these little uh, uh, strips. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to turn around and show it. You can see it. See the wire coming out of the wall over there? See the wire coming out of the wall? You can actually run those strips. Excuse the mess over there and all the wires. But anyway, I have two or three things going on over there. It's kind of messy over there, but it's okay. Uh, see that? You can actually run your hot wire out through that thing and uh, run your plugs and, and it, clean and nice. You know, keep it clean and nice and run your electric and a fan and whatever else you want and actually get, do it for your solar and anything that you do and you plan on building something. And I know that, I know for a lot of guys, the simplicity is the better. Uh, concrete, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll chip out the, the block all the way in, then they'll put the Romex in and then they'll run the lines. I just ran this outside the wall here. Now we have electric already installed when they did the panels. They actually run the, the electrical wiring in PVC. And then they surrounded all the PVC with uh, styrofoam, styrofoam. They sprayed it. So uh, inside the walls here is uh, actually, you know, uh, PVC and then joints down. And I had them run, I, I ordered uh, many outlets. There's an outlet on this wall, an outlet on this wall. Uh, there's two, uh, four outlets on that wall. There's two outlets in the kitchen. There's three out, two outlets in the bathroom, two outlets in the bedroom, two outlets in the bedroom, and uh, easier. In the Blessing House, I did the same. Uh, there's two outlets upstairs, two outlets, and I mean two outlets with two plugs, uh, and uh, plenty of lights. As you guys know, uh, there's, you run out of outlets. So when I ordered this house, a simple thing. Now, I washed this house yesterday. It's really ingenious. You wash this house. I washed this house, just washed it. And, man, you would not believe it. I'm going to do a video on it today, how good it looks. Um, you can paint this house any color you want. It's a paintable surface. You can paint any color you want. Now, uh, Chichi, I was joking yesterday. I asked her, I said, Hello Kitty. She said yes. And she got thinking, she said, Daddy, I don't want no Hello Kitty garage. I said, Honey, whatever you want. I said, Just don't paint it green. Uh she's laughing she says how about purple I said well, okay purple's fine whatever she wants to do with that I will check it out Mitch that may YouTube please try some English we don't use any surprise words okay puppy story good morning good morning from Korea how you doing my I am Boontog Mr. Mike T how you doing um, so, um, I don't know what that means I think it means good morning to you and have a uh, good morning to you I don't know <clears throat> Speak hello for my brother, Jack Quinto. Oh, man. Come on. Uh, hello for my brother, Jack Quinto. Liga Gorino. I don't know. As, how about I don't know? My name is the... Uh, okay, good morning, good morning. <laughs> yeah. Tom, you're a rich YouTube foreigner now. Move the family to Boracay. <laughs> exactly. Michael. <coughs> I know. I know. I know. There was a, I did go to town the other day, and a guy goes, oh, I know, you do you, a YouTube thing. I watch you sometimes. I said, watch me all the time. What do you mean sometimes? Sometimes. English is only. English only, please. Yeah. Lebe, YouTube. Unfortunately, we're not bilingual to understand what you're saying. Exactly. Lebe, my name is English. I want to go to the Philippines. Puppy story. Come to the Philippines anytime you want. No worries. Where is the rest of the crew? Miss Chichia came in for a visit for a short period of time. She's out there doing laundry right now. Uh, she's tied up with that. Uh, the guys are actually working on the fence, uh, the garage out there this morning. Um, uh, she's going to be siliconing the garage. And uh, she had, I don't know, we, I, I did three loads of laundry and left, uh, left it to where she hanged it. And this morning she came and she re-rinsed them. And uh, she's hanging it out now. 
Wait for it. Wait for it. I know. It's killing me. I, I, I'll wait for it, Mercury. I'm waiting, waiting. Uh, boogie, duh, hello. Well, I'm waiting, waiting. Walt, Walt Tolander. Good morning. How you doing, Walt? Welcome, welcome. Tom, take off tomorrow. The New York Yankees versus the Minnesota Twins. It's a game or a metaphor. Uh, I say go. I say go Twins. Joke long. I say go Yankees. Only because I'm a Yankee fan. Who isn't a Yankee fan? Actually, there are many that's not a Yankee fan. Uh, Yankees had a, le a lot of great, great uh, players through the years. You guys understand, know that. Uh, but the problem is, is uh, they, uh, they overpaid a lot of those guys, and they thought they were something else. Uh, whereas um, Lebe, no Nintendo, Espanol, comprenda? <laughs> ah, he got... He <laughs> Mercury says, wait, wait, wait. Mercury got him. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's all gibberish to me, too. I know what Mahal Kita means. I do, too. Says something about going to get in your shoes. I'm kidding. I love you, too. Mahal Kita. Uh, hi, Tom and Ruth. Good morning. Coffee with Jam with Chris. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Second time here. I remember. Coffee time. Yeah, welcome, welcome on our live stream. Thank, and thank you. Let me tell you how wonderful my wife is. See this? She did this, and she did this. This one is uh, the first one. This is the second one she made me. How can you beat that, really? How can you beat that? You can't. She got up early this morning. R.R. decided she had to go to school, right? Finally, get up out of bed. The bus shows up at a quarter to six this morning. The bus normally didn't show up to quarter to seven, 6.30. So R.R. scrambling, trying to get in the, the guy's honking his horn. Like, get in the car. We got to go. Uh, bus driver got in trouble for being late at school. So now he's here early in the morning. So R.R. is going, leaving here in the morning at quarter to six in the morning now, or six, and then getting home at 6.30, quarter to seven at night. So a long day for her. She gets out of school, but they play. She gets out of school at 4, 4.30, but time to get on the bus to come home. So it's not like she's work, work, but it's just uh, she plays. She, she's fine. Your voice seems to be so subdued because it's morning. Could be. I don't know. So, coffee with jam. Mercury just beat me by a millisecond. You were nicer than me. I was going to give the whole boot. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. I hate the Yankees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do need a cap. Jeremy, you're right. They do need a cap. Um, actually, I, 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 I do like the Yankees. Uh, I love baseball in general. How about that? Uh, hey, listen, I'm a Florida boy, so I want all my Florida teams to do good. Um, Tom, can the people who are building your garage build a house? Yes, they can. They can. Uh, they're the ones who built the blessing house. Uh, this sandwich panel is new to them, but they got the hang of it now. Uh, you have to explain things differently. You guys understand this. You have to explain things differently in a way because they see something and they think they know what it is and they go down that path. Chichi just had to put them back on the path a couple of times. Uh, can they do it? Yes, they can now. Now they're on path. Now they're trucking. Uh, they understand exactly how sandwich panel works. Now they really like it. Now they want. You have any more sandwich panel? We want to build houses. Uh, and... Uh, Ben Ben told me, he says, I, I know now I can build a house really fast now. He, a, no, they know shortcuts. He said he's going to get the guy, instead of making them in 8-foot links, 20-foot links for 20-foot things. He explained to me yesterday in English. And he's not really good in English, but he's a very shy man. And he's the welder out there. He's the guy, the crew chief out there. And uh, Chicha's brother, they're all family. Chicha's brother is the helper. I've been a Yankee since the early 70s, Danny. Yeah. I, you know, I, me, me too. I was uh, a Yankee fan when I was a kid, okay? Uh, you know, in the 60s when I grow up, I, I was a Yankee fan. I, I just, for some reason, they would come and play there. Uh, sometimes we would see them on TV there in Arizona. I was when Ruth was there, but stuck in purgatory. Hello, Super Chat. 20 minutes to give $2. <laughs> I've done that. I've done that. Uh, I've done that. I went to give uh, money, and it never did show up, but they took it out of my bank. Ah, always something, right? 
That knowing birthday and anniversary keeps me out of trouble. I tell you what, I got caught. Don't tell me, Judy, don't tell on me. When is our anniversary? I said, I don't know. She goes, she says, you really don't know? I said, I don't know. I don't. I don't. And R is yelling it out. So I, so I said that date. Uh, this month, the 27th, is our anniversary. And I said, R, R. And I told her that date. She goes, yeah, only because R told you. I said, well, honey, I can't remember what I did yesterday. I'm a guy, and I just don't remember. You have to remind me. you got to give me a nudge. I said, it's not like I have this in my mind. I don't think that way. My mind does not work that way. My mind is thinking on a uh, football game or sports or you know how to fix that hole over there or like that <clears throat> she says you've really forgot it i go yeah i forgot it i'm being honest i'm not lying to you i said i am not lying to you i'm not gonna lie to you i don't lie well i tell white stories sometimes so because you have to but i told her i says i did that i don't know i said well you want I, said, I know and i give you a date and you're gonna say well that's wrong that's wrong that's wrong so my anniversary is October the 27th. I put it on my phone. So I know now. Boy out there today, yeah, I know. Jeb, they built a blessing house. If I, Yeah, they, they did. They built a blessing house. And they did a good job. I mean, you know, I mean, you know I, I'm not a fan of concrete and wood. I'm just not a, con I'm not a fan. Uh, wood is substandard here. Uh, concrete is substandard. We went and bought different concrete than the original concrete we bought. And that second batch was junk so we're gonna have to re resurface some of that <clears throat> ruth is so sweet morning time is coffee time maybe some pandasol i am blessed i really am blessed i i i'm lucky i am lucky uh and you know i i tell her that i appreciate that you know and i appreciate the small things it's the small things that matter in life it's the small stuff uh, you the, you miss the big stuff, but the small stuff matters. You know, like uh, she come home the other day. There's dishes everywhere. Well, I cleaned them and put them up. We went on an outing and uh, I went to church and had all these dishes and they spilt everywhere. And uh, you know, you guys understand, just stuff, potluck, many dishes. I cleaned it all up. I put it all up. I wiped it, cleaned it, put it all up. She come home. And there's nothing for her to do. She goes, "Oh, you did all that? Oh, yeah. You know, we help each other." Uh, Adriana, Mitch, Adriana, you got you got trolled, huh? Dennis, good morning, sir. How is everything with you? How's Shane Lawson? How is everything? Uh, uh, Judy, I watched AG last night. I want to be lazy, mid. <laughs> I'm a Roll Tide fan forever. College football, Southeastern Conference rules, yeah. I think it's all told me last week. <laughs> Dennis, good morning, good morning. I'm, I am back, brownout. Sorry about that. Man, you guys get some storms there. I talk to my bro. See everything's okay with him. Uh, Allison, his wife, arm broke, uh, MS, has been broke multiple times. She has to go back in for surgery again. Uh, say her prayers for her, please. Uh, I think this is the fifth surgery on her arm. So prayers to her. She's in a nursing home now. Uh, five weeks. Having a cap. Is what ruined football. You no longer see someone stay with one team for more than one year or two before you see players stay with him 10, 15 years. <clears throat> How's Mr. Dennis? How is everything going, Mr. Dennis? Judy, enjoying the lower 80s, just like Christmas weather for me. Exactly. Uh, uh, Coffee with Jam is saying hi to everybody this morning. Baseball and golf, tennis, watching makes me sleepy. Basketball and college football. I'm a football guy. Uh, basketball guy, I'm okay. Baseball, I'm a football and baseball, only because it's raised with it. 99.99, .99, all deaths in our galaxy occur on Earth. It may be time to move. It's dangerous there. <laughs> High five, Mercury. That's right. <laughs> Tom, I'm lucky to remember my birthday. And it was really a surprise this year. I had to ask, whose birthday is it? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I, 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 you know what? I have faults. Believe it or not, I have faults. That is one of my thousand faults I have. One of my thousand faults I have. I don't remember dates. I don't remember. I remember. I don't remember years. Uh, this is our third year being married, so three years this year. High five to us for three years. 
Making it three years. Man, she's put up with me for three years. Can you imagine? Merck, you guys have to somehow send me a message beforehand so I can attend your live streams. I need the written instructions. My mind is too cluttered to remember everyone's all the time. JG has it on a sheet. He put it on a spreadsheet. Yeah, he made a spreadsheet, and he, he can send it to you. If you want, Judy, uh, I have a copy of it. JG can update it and send me a copy, or we can exchange emails. It's up to you two. But I can easily send you a copy of it. So anybody wants to go on these live streams, let know. And then that way you can fluctuate and go on them. Uh, and I, sorry I missed Jeb Jams yesterday. I, I literally had to get stuff done. Uh, on my days off, I consider my days off other than live streams, I have to do things. Like today, for an example, I have to get done here. And I have to cut uh, some, some wood and stuff that I need to uh, finish. And if I don't do it um, during that off time, I'm videos and live chat. Because believe it or not, YouTube's a job. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, it's easy, Judy. have no content. and don't. <laughs> Sorry. Open windows tonight. It's freezing. 74 minutes behind. Ooh. LOL, Mitch. You said you were in purgatory for 20 minutes. So I do that super chill. Other than that, I'm doing fine, Tom. Hiya. I'm doing fine, Mr. Uh, Dennis. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I didn't have any interest in Adriana and his triple X trash. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Block them. Uh, you guys, block them. I don't care. Uh, JG put me down after Tom on Thursday. You're not the only one with memory problems. I've just gotten used to writing everything down. Uh, your book, Merck, <clears throat> it's a habit of mine that, that I um, somebody tell me something and I, say, and I don't. And she, uh, Chet even told me, she says, before, I don't remember when it is. So all of a sudden, uh, she remembers. Really, last year, she did, She could not remember. So when did we get married? I mean, she couldn't like that. So if she can't remember, how am I going to remember it? Right? Now, this was last year. Now, all of a sudden, she remembers. So uh, I'll make a note of it. And, of course, I'll make sure to give her some nice anniversary gift. I don't know what that would be, but uh, she gets gifts every day. She has me in her life. Uh, she ordered covers for the couch uh, and the chairs because she wants to clean them up and order covers. Uh, you know, I said, do every, anything but the plastic covers. I do not like plastic. I don't want plastic on the couch. So, got it, Judy. Uh, let's see. Cool. Uh, yeah, when did he play under that coach? Let's see here. Um, yeah, memory problems. Uh, JG, would you love a copy, sir? Purple Lady at Gmail. There you go. Here you go, Miss Judy. Uh, send send uh, Purple Lady. She likes purple too. Send Purple Lady a copy. A copy? Copy, JG? Copy? Uh, Barry and Jean. Yeah, Mike T. Barry and Jean. Judy Fisher is not quite comfortable in purgatory tonight. The devil had a sliding glass door open with a screen at 72. Actually, I would love that weather. Uh, thanks, JG. You're a swell guy. Very cool, Bear. Yeah, Bear Bryant. Yeah. Uh, Bear is a legend and always be there. Yeah, Bear Bryant is a uh, great guy. Danny Gordon, they remember. They remember everything, Danny. I don't remember anything. I only remember I only remember what I need to remember, and that has to do with my little world. <clears throat> Anniversaries are, are very important, and birthdays are very important. I remember their birthdays. I cannot forget it. It's the same day every year. Uh, no, but it's they both have the same birthday, same birthday day. It's the 27th of July. So, am I right with that? I think it's 27th. Yeah, 27th of July. <laughs> I can't, I just, I've always been like that all my life. I can't help it. Judy, you can retract that after JG gets it. Save yourself headaches. Yeah, retract your, uh, retract that message, Judy, in case you don't get slack from some of these uh, other guys that are like uh, trolls. They want to see if you remember. Is that what it is? <clears throat> is that what it is? Uh, it's probably what it is. Uh, Judy answered me that. Is that what it is? She asked me that to see if I remembered. Like I care. Is that what it is? Although uh, I show her so much I care. But I mean really. Is that what it is? There's a song name. The Day Bear Died. Watch with the air pump. Mike. I'm telling you. I went to go to town to buy an air pump. Bicycle. Any kind of pump at all. Just anything at all. Chicha brings home a basketball pump to pump up a basketball. So guess what? No air pumps. There's no air pumps in my town. The whole town of Miragma. Go, go figure, right? So I got to go to Valencia to go buy an air pump. And I can't do it tomorrow because it's Sabbath. 
uh, we'll go visit her uncle, which is in a hospital with that spine or whatever that's called. It's not spiral, spiral meningitis. It's something else. Spinal meni, meni, uh, it's a long word, like 25 letters in it. He has that. So good morning, Kevin P. How you doing? This is Kevin P. of Kevin P. Excellent Adventures. Hello, Mr. Kevin P. of Cambodia. How you doing, sir? Um, yeah. Mark, would you really want to email me? I hardly even check my email. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tom, can't hang out long, but you're awesome. God bless you and your family. God bless you too. Rodney, I love your videos, my friend. Did a great job. I love your your take and your knowledge and your input. High five to you, sir. Great channel. You guys check out Mr. Rodney. He, uh, oh, Mr. Mike T, man. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Mike T. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. High five to you, sir. Uh, Gary C., good morning, good morning. Mercury. Judy, yeah, LOL, you guys sent, sent sent it, Judy. So he sent a list of the time. Now, uh, Mike T., you, are you going to start a channel? And you guys going to start a channel. Danny Stout's coming on today after me, right? And the reason why we're doing that is to help the channels grow. Like Danny Stout, maybe Kevin Nash wants to do one. I don't know. Kevin, Simpson Welch, maybe the guys. <coughs> Whoever wants to do one, just let, let JG know. And he will send a link out to everybody uh, that they're, they're uh, live stream. You guys want to support them, go on. If you're available, go on. If you're not, you can't. It's okay. It's life. Who cares? But if you can, support them. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a good thing. It's actually a great thing JG did. He came up with the idea himself. Like who's on and what times. and Because I can't keep up. And I just know Jeb Jam and I know JG. I know me and Chi and, um, and Ruth. And it's hard for me to keep up. I like Mars was on this morning with Surge. I didn't even I, I did not even know that they even had one. So it's like there's no consistency. And if you have consistency, you might end up getting more views than eight people on or ten people on. You, you kind of know what I mean? And when you have these stream yards and all these things with these stream yards and, and things, stream labs, it's fine. But the problem is you, you lose contact with the people underneath here. Oh, they talk and chit-chat and talk and chit-chat. You just can't keep up with the thing. Then you got these people up here talking. You got these people down here, and you got this going on. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Uh, shame aircon? on you. Uh huh? Yeah, aircon. Yeah. Yeah, shame on you, Tom. Chris has never forgotten our anniversary. And if I'm being honest, I've forgotten a few times myself. <laughs> Is that the reason why she asked me? That's probably the reason why she asked me, right? So she asked me probably to make sure uh, that I knew. Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, Judy sent. Thank you, thank you. Mercury, I'll check it, get your email. Yeah, that way, that way kind of, uh, well, shortly in January. Okay, Mike T. Maybe you want to come on and do a live stream sometime. And I'm going to say in January, November, or December. And uh, we put it in there. And after this one, this one, this one, this, whatever, whatever. Because what will happen, uh, people can do them and they can't do them. It's life. You can't do them and can't do them. And uh, JG, he took a responsibility on to do that. Shout out to Mr. JG for taking the time to even put on who's on, who's not on, who can who can uh, do that. So that that's really a good thing. But air pump for me, I could not even find one, so we cannot find one where I'm at. So no air pump in the Philippines, this area, within um, 10 kilometer radius. <laughs> Can you believe that? I was shortly in January. Okay, good, good, good. Hello, Rodney. Uh, women have tests for us men. They do. They test us. Wolfen4966, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. How far behind is Tom? Scott Bears, how far behind am I? What time is it? 9.20? Oh, I'm four minutes behind. Oh, work! I removed it. When Scott, when you want to go on? See, there you go. The channel I have now is just mainly for clients and short videos that are posted on their website. Okay, Mike T. You know what, Mike? Whatever you think, my friend. Just however, because you've been a long time subscriber on on the channel, and you're always there. So it's up to you. Just let us know. No worries. No worries. Because we'll support you. That's the key. Support. And go on support because um, I would have never thought Mitch has 500 and some odd whatever subscribers. Who would ever think that JG, JG would have all the subscribers he does? Who would ever thought? 
Not me. <laughs> I support. I su Who would ever thought JG even have a channel? <laughs> I, I'm busting your chops, my friend. I'm busting your chops. I'm teasing with you. I, got, I, I love teasing. You, you know what? If and when I see you, uh, it's JG. Oh, my goodness. Look out, my friend. I'm going to bust your chops. You can bust mine all you want. We have a good time together. Uh, I can't imagine. Uh, meet and greet all you guys. Oh, my. Scoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Say a prayer for us at, at, the, at the meet and greet. Mark, are you going to troll me? <laughs> uh, go on where? <laughs> Scott. Scoot. Uh, go on where? He doesn't even know what's going on. Uh, is that a cigarette lighter air compressor? High five. That's what it was. A cigarette lighter air compressor. I cannot find any. Man, they didn't have any. They just didn't have. I'm telling you. You go put. You know, you guys. You guys know the ones I'm talking about. The one that's. Uh, you you put your foot. You, not like that with your feet, right? And then you can air up a tire or whatever with it. Uh, I found one. I found one of those on Lanzada. Finally. 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 I don't know if I was not hitting the buttons right. I could not find it the other day, but I found the other. I found it finally. I'll order one of those. Carl, New York City and Cebu. How you doing, Mr. Carl? Thank you for coming on, my friend. Thank you, thank you. ASG, hello, hello, hello. How you doing, ASG66 from Raleigh? How you doing, sir? Thank you, thank you for coming on, my friend. Uh, Carl, New York, uh, New York City and Cebu. How you doing? I have family in uh, Charlotte. Ah. <clears throat> there ought to be enough from hot politicians to are playing tires. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, there's a few of them I know, that's for sure. I hear Alabama's in the house. Alabama is in the house, man. For sure. Tom, get an old bike tire pump. You can fill those tires and exercise on one. Scott, they don't have them. There's no. They don't have bike, bike tire pumps. There's none. I borrowed my neighbors. His broke. No, neighbor, 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 neighbor don't have them. There's a vulcanizing shop up here. If I get a long enough cord, I could bring it here. It's up on the corner. It's probably within uh, three, uh, probably 200 yards of the house. But I, I can't get the car there to do it. And I'm not running on a flat tire, right? So uh, here you go, right? So no hand pumps, no bicycle pumps. Only the pump in the whole town uh, here in Morog Mug is a uh, basketball pump, the one-handle pump. You know, where you pump like that. That's it. Um, yeah, no no other pumps than that. Uh, Chiche went to, she went everywhere. And believe me, uh, she spent, uh, I was. she was gone uh, three hours yesterday. She went everywhere trying to find a pump for the, no pump. So she said, I give up on it. She's angry. She'd come home angry. She said, there is no bicycle pump in this whole town. So uh, we'll have to go to Valencia City and try to find a bicycle pump. I'm sure somebody has a bicycle pump or a tire pump or a, a compressor I could buy. Yeah, roll tie. Foot pump. Yeah, exactly. Foot pump. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I had one. Not sure where it is. I had many tools. And I was looking for some the other day. I'm going, what in the world? What happened to that? It's gone. I, so I put it all in one spot so I know where it's all at. I put all my shovels there. I just bought uh, I just bought some new tools. I'm gonna put it there so when I need something, an axe, I got it. Come out and get the tires. They there's only one man working the shop and he can't leave the shop. I asked him. I said, "Can you come to my house and pull the tires off? I'll pay you extra." He said, "I'm only one man. There's nobody else here but me, and I have to stay here." He stays there from six in the morning to seven thirty at night, seven days a week. And I said, "You make a lot of money." He said, I make 180 pesos a day, <clears throat> seven days a week. So, which is $3, and I'm just going to say $3.50 every day he has to sit there. There's only one guy. So, Mitch, high five, Mr. Mitch. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for the super chat. We appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just pull each tire and take it and, I get, and get it filled. Yeah, <sighs> I'm going to tell you something. That's a chore, too. I don't want to take the tires off. There, you know, Mike T. I understand. I understand. It's like I, uh, I could get the guys, probably could take off the tires and take them down there. But what a pain in the neck that is, right? I had two flats in one day, and what a pain in the neck that was too. Uh, two flats the same day, go figure, right? Um, 
Uh, so, uh, uh, tires is something, I got to tell you, be prepared for flats here. They have them all the time. Mark, very exciting. Nothing ever happens in my life, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, remember about three years ago, Triple D asked for my address? Yeah, still waiting for his email. He did? Double Dog there. Where is Double Dog? Double Dog. I had, when did I talk to him? He's working a lot. He's working two jobs. He's trying to pay off old debt, and uh, it's killing him. It's killing him. Yeah, no, no air and tire like leak shop. Yeah, there's uh, no, it was no leaks in it. I, uh, there, yeah, there is a leak in it. I don't know what they are, but the car set for seven months, guys, eight months, and uh, what had happened? It, it died, and I put gas in it and charged up the battery and cranked it up and it ran, and with flat tires, so it runs fine. Chit Chit cleaned the motor yesterday, meaning got cleaned it, washed it, all that stuff. Uh, we cleaned the inside, washed it, looked really good. So uh, it just, uh, the transmission slipping, I need to get the tires aired up. And the tires are uh, pretty decent tires. I bought some good tires for it. It's not like uh, they're cheap treads or they're bald or anything like that. They're decent tires. I would buy a new set of tires for that car. If somebody wants to buy it. It's not a problem. Um, yeah, they have a tank. With it. <laughs> and behold, I'll go get it. Uh, they don't have any tanks here where I'm at. Tank you, right? Tank you. I mean, tire repair. Yeah, tire repair. They, the guy won't come to the house. I wish he would. I will bring, I brought a cordless Milwaukee pump with me. It's great to have. You dial in the press you want, it gives you a digital readout, and stops when it reaches pressure, all spot and impact. Danny Gordon, high five to you, sir. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I didn't, didn't bring any of my tools with me. I, I, I regret it now. I really do. I wish I did. I wish I brought uh, about uh, 10 more uh, tools than I, I have now. Skill saw, my, my, my DeWalt said. I, I miss my DeWalt, my skill saws, all that stuff. I miss all that. 10 minutes at a time. They say also all kinds of motor driving stuff, pressure washers and so forth, Wolfen. Yeah, they there's plenty of shops here, believe it or not. I they I could buy a pressure washer now. I just saw it in town uh, the other day when I was in town, but they have no tire uh, tire pumps, tire nothing to fill up tires. I told him to order them. He says uh, we can't keep them when we order them. And I said, what do you mean? He says uh, uh, we order it and we we'll order twenty in, and they're gone. I says, well, that's a sign of of you need to order instead of ten, order twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, and you make more money. You know. And he goes, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, oh, okay. It's this Chinese shop. It has everything you want in there. It has uh, uh, pumps and compressors and all kinds of stuff, but nothing nothing for tires. Uh, all water, water filtration, uh, deep well water stuff. MJ, where did you disappear to? You said you're high and then you're gone. Now you popped in. Welcome back, MJ. Where are you at, MJ? Are you here? My life is like a groundhog day. Not much changes except my stress. Yeah, mine, mine, mine is pretty good. I tell you what, I got mad at myself not being able to get up off that floor. Yeah, offer that guy 500 pesos to rent his pump in him five minutes and have him bring the pump to your house. I wish he could, Bill. There's no pump to bring. You don't have no pump. I mean, a vulcanizing shop has its own big air compressor, but other than that, it's only air compressor around. And I asked something here. Somebody said that they get free air. Filipino has to pay for air. Filipino pay for air here. Uh, no matter. I asked my brother-in-law and my my uh, my bro brother-in-laws. There's many. B-Boy said, no, he pays for air. Uh, and my other one said, he pays for air. I thought it was free air for Filipino, but it's not. Yeah. Tom, get all the Brian from Foreigner Farm in the Philippines. Has he got one? Yeah, he's way up at Bohol, though. He's wet and behold. I tell you what, I reached out to him, Wolfen, about four, three, four, five times. I get, he can't, I, I can't get him to email me back. Maybe he don't like me. I don't want him to like me. Maybe he don't like me. Merck, I'm only on my cell. I'm on my cell phone. Judy's saying, if I check my email, I get booted out of the live stream. Well, no, don't check your email. I thought, just thought on your card. Could be a, dir or a dirty fuel filter. If it started again, it happened. A dirt black flows out. Could be. Mercury, you're probably right. You're probably right. Could be a, a, a filter situation. You're right. 
That's a new fuel pump. And they're supposed to change it all out. Uh, I'm going to add a few more liters of gas to it just because, right? And then uh, I'm going to take it to town. And I'll either have, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I'll have to ask some somebody. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, you know. Ah, I, more good news, Mitch is saying. I'm being sued by a tenant that was renting about three years ago because of something that was on the news. Go figure. Are you kidding me? I got one better than that. I get up. I have credit card. I'm an idiot using my name and renting a house, buying a phone. I don't know, a few hundred dollars charges. And said, your credit score is being affected. I go, I don't know who that is. So I had spent yesterday evening disputing all these bills. I said, how can I charge it? I'm here in the Philippines. And how in the world will I be watching Bright House TV? What's the addresses, right? Like this, like this, like this. So I don't know who, what. Somebody got my ID somehow, something. I don't know. Or could be, uh, I don't know. But I know exactly what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I read it about three years because something was on the news. Go figure. So they're suing you for something that probably they did not pay their bill on time or something, right? Yeah. Aren't renters fun to deal with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Runners, run, renters, renters. Been there, done that. Had to fight that too. <clears throat> oh, uh, you guys don't know how happy I am being here in the Philippines. Really. I had to fight that too. I had some renters. Uh, and I, I, I would gut out uh, trailers and rent them and put them in trailer parks and make them really nice and set them up and offered financing for people and really put them in uh, 55 and above sites paying the rent. I'm so bored with the status quo. I'm glad I'm out of landlord business. Me too. I'm glad I'm out of all that. I never would. I didn't ever have too much, but even a few hundred dollars along, it's such a hassle. Judy, I'll use my cell phone. I haven't touched it in my laptops two and a half years. I hate computers. I... Have not been on a laptop now in over a year. It's been a year. I have this laptop here I just bought. <clears throat> I've not been on it one time. No, I, one time when I set it up. And RR uses it, Cheche uses it, but we needed one. Emergency, emergency. we got to have a laptop. we got to have a laptop that works here in the house. I don't think it's been on in 30 days. We need it. We need it. It's sitting right here in the corner. See? That's ridiculous. Dennis Adams said, Mr. Mitch, it is Mr. Mitch. Mr. Mitch, I'd like to know what that's about. Send me an email. Send me an email. Maybe I can help you with that. Renting to bad people is a bad business model. High five. You can actually rent to good people, and does good people turn to bad? In some instances, it's not that they turn to bad. It's just they can't financially afford what they're doing, and they get themselves in trouble relationship-wise, this, that, and other, and they turn bad. I've had that. I put my son in the landlord business and let him deal with it. Exactly. I've done that, too. I never reject you, Merck. After live stream, I email you. Yes. Yeah, I have someone ship you a pump. Yeah, exactly, Danny. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to go to uh, Valencia City and try to find one. Uh, we get this garage done. My main goal is get this garage done. Uh, today or tomorrow, today or Sunday will be finished. Uh, they're, they're, I need to get order some light still for front doors. You got mail, Mr. Mitch. Uh, good. That's to me for film. I'll get a pump and go around pumping air. You know, I tell you what, there wouldn't be a bad idea. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, my neighbor has a flat tire over here. He says, I have no way of pumping it up in his car. And I said, I don't either. I said, what are you going to do? I said, when I buy a pump, I'll let you use it. He goes, please. He has a flat tire on his van. And uh, he said, I don't, I'm not taking it off. He said, I'm, I'm too old to deal with it. Oh, he, he, you know, 70 Philippine. And he said, uh, get these boys right here. They won't do it. Yeah, can you buy an air tank, fill it up, take it on, pump up your tires? I wish I could. They don't have air tanks available here. There's not one uh, pump in the whole town. No tire pump. No air pump, not one thing here in Maragma. Only one place I can get it is by Valencia City, and I'm sure they have plenty there, I hope. <coughs> so there you go. 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. I, I, it's amazing, though, right? Isn't it amazing? Uh, Brian is a plane right away. I'm not sure he's borrowing a pump from him. It makes sense. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know if Brian has a pump. Does uh, Brian have a pump? Some of the fuel fitters are in the tank and difficult to replace. That's exactly right. They had to actually take out the back seat, and they had to actually pull out the tank uh, from, from the back end, and, yes, they replaced it. This many times. That car's had three fuel pumps since I've owned it. Brand new. Put a credit freeze on your account, and no one can use your credit. Exactly. So what, that's exactly what we did. That's exactly what we did. and uh, But it does not help the situation getting these people off, right? So they still say, you still have a problem, sir. <laughs> yeah, right. Credit karma. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I have the same problem. Uh, yeah, he has the same problem. Thousands of comments and emails. Yeah. But you know what? I, I do. Um, he, he's a big channel. It, it doesn't, it's not that hard. Uh, no matter how many comments or how many things, I always talk to everybody. Everybody. It doesn't matter. I just... I, Wolfen, I agree. And there's no excuse for it, though. You can talk to everybody. Nobody is that busy. They're not like the President of the United States. You can always email. I get 300 to 500 emails a day from people. I need a man. I'm looking for a man. I need an American man. Uh, please uh, send me one chat mate. I need him to look for uh, someone. Hey, I'm an American. I'm stuck. I got an American now stuck over in Cebu. He's in a hospital. So I have so many things going on. I answer everybody. Everybody's answered. Except this morning's emails will be answered within within by lunchtime today. I'll get in and I'll answer them all. And I always answer everybody's and I always comment and I always try to go on everybody's live streams. And you have to admit, I do a fairly decent job of getting to everybody. You know, am I perfect? No. But it's unbelievable because you send an email. There's, if somebody sends an email, I send an email back. Then they send an email back. Then that one does the same. And then this guy sends two or three. And it's like, uh, it's okay. I don't mind. Actually, I love it. That's exactly my environment. That's what I that's what I excel in. I excel in doing that. Because when I was district manager, I would get so many and so many problems and this, that, and this, that, and still maintain. So you can ease I can easily handle it. It's not something I'm this that's my world. And traveling, going this, this, that, and other. But my, but, but, I sent an email. I, I talked to all the guys, uh, Philo, uh, Brian, Philly, all the time, Fazio. Uh, no, I haven't talked to Fazio in now four months. So it's been a while for Fazio. See, I cut my finger, man. That little rascal hurts. Uh, Fazio in a while. But I talked to all the guys. Uh, Britt, uh, Mike, my Philippine journey. Bud Brown. I just got through off uh, email with Bud Brown. I, many, I, too many to even talk about. I mean, I, many, 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 many. Oh, Kyle, Kyle. Um, and I talk to those guys uh, once every two, three weeks, twice. Uh, yeah, so sock filters or tank or drop tanks. Yeah, that's exactly right. And it's really hard. I was victim of identity theft at 12 when a stinking nightmare would solve. They steal my identity again. They deserve, it, uh, deserve to be me. I, I tell you what, they want to steal mine. I'm going to make it hard on them. Do you want me to get a pump and send it to the next box? I'll be ready in about two, three weeks to ship out. I'm happy to do it. I'm okay, Judy. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to Valencia City. Uh, Handyman has a pump. I saw him in there. I'm going to go to Handyman or Ace, but I, Handyman has a pump. I saw it in there. It's one of those foot ones that you you know, you put on and just stand there and pump with your foot. And I'll get one of those. I found one. And I'm and um, I'm gonna get that. And thank you though. Thank you. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for that. My lap is on 24/7. My laptop. Yeah, I didn't even turn mine on. I use my phone as my laptop. If they still have my ID, they may feel better. Leave me a few pesos. I tell you what. Yeah, you don't know how angry I was. I mean, I'm looking at these bills. I'm I'm getting angry and anger and anger. And I says, "Welcome back to the United States, right? You know what I mean? Like." Well, wow, you don't have a problem here because you're not you're not doing that kind of thing. Uh, when they steal your identity, they also pay your bills. You have a right. <laughs> yeah, someone was kind enough to file my taxes for me two years ago. <laughs> Mercury three identity happens to a friend of mine. They had even taken his life insurance out on her. That was some scary thing. Ooh. 
I have problems keeping my tires pumped up. Aluminum wheels, the tires go flat in cold weather. I can see that. How you doing, Hapsters? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Our live stream today. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for spending your time today. Hello, Hapsters. Hello, hello. Hello, Hap. They filled your taxes after they stole your identity. They took my money. That's the sad part. Oh, man. Mercury. I tell you what, Mercury. There's nothing worse than being. That's, to me, it's violated, man. Right? You were getting violated. So, man, there's nothing worse than that in the world. We're in San Francisco, California. Gary T., high five to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. No, just taxes. Put a freeze on credit. Gary T., greetings from Hawaii. The Hapsters are saying, hello, Lorna and Robert. How's the Hapsters doing? Yeah. I, it was funny. The other day, uh, I, I was laughing. Uh, uh, Lorna, I didn't know who it was. That's a full-time job. It, it is. It keeps me busy all the time. You know what? In the beginning, I, I didn't like it, but I'm okay with it. it. And actually, I'm not doing anything. I don't have a job. My job is take care of the girls and take care of me and my family. And I tell you what, it actually is okay with me. I don't mind helping someone. I had a buddy of mine uh, go to my old co-workers, right? There's a bunch of us. And I emailed him. I said, hey, if you don't mind, can you go to the hospital and see if this person is still in the hospital? I just got an email. And I said, I will send you some money to, to, to uh, go there. He goes, Tom, don't worry about it. I said, no, I'm going to send you some money, PayPal. Go there and find out if the guy's okay, you know, and go by have lunch on me. So I sent him some money so he could have lunch and go to the hospital and make sure the guy's okay. And guy emailed me back and says, the guy is fine. He got out of the hospital. He talked to the nurse into going and getting his money out of the bank. I get a lot of emails from the guys trapped in the hospitals, guys, where they don't have their sex pads. You understand what that means? I know they're coming here for other things other than they're coming here for vacation and fun and fun and fun. But what happens is they get in a situation, they're in a the hospital, and they can't get out, and nobody go get their money out of the bank to pay the hospital bill. They have money. Or they have insurance. The guy had insurance. It covered it, but he needed, like, I don't forget, it was 10,000 10, peso. But they wouldn't let him out of the hospital to go get it. So he hired the nurse, gave him a card, and please go down there and pull it back. Then when he got back, he talked to the guy. Uh, apparently, he was worried about his card, and they just he just, uh, what do they call that? Uh, he requested another card, just in case that lady wrote down stuff. So, uh, but anyway, he paid the bill and got out and everything was fine. But that happens quite a bit. People getting sick. And look at Mike, my Philippine jury. One of the guys came into town and got admitted to the hospital and, and the poor guy needed money. So it happens a lot. I mean, a lot. I mean, like a thousand times last year. Easy. And that's the reason I do these videos. People think, oh, man, he's the same thing, same thing. Well, the same thing is because I get the emails on it. <clears throat> or I guess somebody asked me about it. I have an Apple computer that runs 24-7. AI buys it and sells the commodities 20, 23 hours a day. It's a locked room with a backup generator and AC is setting at 65 degrees all day. Ah, that runs 24-7 and AI buys and sells commodities 23 hours a day. He has a locked room with backup generator and AC set at 65. I want to come see that. Can I come see that, Mitch? i like to see that. Just let me peek in. i like to go see that. That would be kind of cool to see that. Wow. Man, you're making me think. Greetings, Jody. Judy. Judy, Judy. Um, multitasking, yeah. It sounds like good business ideas. Open up air station. They can go and call from someone to go fill up anything. Mark, it is a good idea if you think about it. That's a simple thing. It is a good idea. Uh, B-Boy came and got the... Uh... I got it. Oh, you got it? Oh, okay. It will be the oh, okay. <laughs> the... Uh, the... What do they call that? Clock. So, there's my wife. I won't show her a picture because she's probably tired and busy. Excuse me, Daddy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I let them instruct Ben Ben to use all the panel. So we need to buy the little uh, 3, I think 3.70 meter of that panel, supposedly for the gate. Okay. Because I let them use all the panel. Okay. So we will just use little here and. Okay. So we need four, just say four meter. Mm -hmm. Just say four meter of light duty panel. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Then hinges, wire pairs, and one length. Okay. Tubular. Tubular, so you make the gate. That's fine. Okay. And I will. I need to go now. Okay, go now. All right. Um, why don't you just take that? Okay. All right. And uh, money here. And uh, can I have change back? No. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Just I take. Food, huh? Yeah, get food. Get snack. Uh, just take that. Um, she. Uh, I'm tired now. Are you tired now? I know you are, darling. Uh, yeah, can I flip it around at JGC? You? Okay. No. <laughs> She's running to the bedroom. I, I had to do it. I don't know if JG was watching Judy. She has a little jacket on. It's hot. She's sweating. And <laughs> ah, I won't do it no more, darling. I'm teasing with you. Go ahead. All right. So I, I love teasing. We both are fine in the car now. Listen to Tom while in traffic. Just got done work. She wanted to buy. She needs to buy a four meter, a light duty steel uh, for the gate. And she's using the sandwich. But you use sandwich pound for the door. I, okay, it doesn't matter. She's using a sandwich pound for things, so it's, it's really good. It keeps the top of mind sharp. It actually does. It actually keeps me, I've been more in tune with things and more alive by doing that. It's like, oh, okay, I got answered. What's his name? Uh, Guy Eric emailed me this morning, uh, thanking me so much. And a lot of times what happens, a lot of these guys are uh, some of the guys here, and some are not. And so some are the are my subscribers, some are not. Some don't even know I even have a channel. Uh, it's word of mouth, you know. Hey, there's this guy down there. He'll 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 give you guidance. Like <clears throat> the other day, I got an email from one of the guys. It says uh, Tom, I'm in, I'm thinking about opening up a, a a sorry sorry store. What are you thinking about? I said, well, it depends. You know, where it's at. What are you going to do? This that another. So I gave him my opinion. I said, this is my opinion. You do whatever you want to do. You want to open? Open it. You know, do this, this, that, and another. He might be back if you open up one. That's fine. After the garage is built, what is the next home improvement project? Gary T., I am going to uh, I am gonna actually not do anything for a while. Next project will be, if we do anything, would be tile the front walk and finish the uh, expandable house, um, the, nice, uh, the blessing house. And when we finish it is we need to tile the sink and we need to uh, do some improvements upstairs. I want to put new flooring upstairs. We have flooring, but I want to put, I want to put linoleum or something up there. Uh, nice, you know. Build a tree house, JG's house. I have to, what does it say? I have to room like that. It's good storing meds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand how some of my, get my email addresses. I only give it out to a few people later. It takes to find out it was given out by someone. Yeah, I will not give out anybody's email, by the way. That's an important question there, Mercury. I fight to you on that. I will not give out anybody's email. So if you give me an email, I won't give it out unless you say, can I give it out? Because somebody asked me the other day for JG's email. I emailed him, hey, can I give out your email, yes or no? Then I would email and say, no, uh, just do it this way. Just email it to me and I email it to him. <coughs> and a lot of people, that's what they do. They'll just email me the information and then I email it to them. Like Serge uh, would email, like people want to get a hold of Serge and then I would, he would email and then I would email about because that way you don't get all that stuff like that. Thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. He needs the help, but won't remember the day is anniversary. Amen to that. Hey, TJ, when is our anniversary? Hmm? When is our anniversary? Nah. Nah. Forget again? No, I already know. I will kick your ass. Uh, <laughs> Did you hear that? You said she, she would kick my what? I, our, our anniversary is October the 27th. I hope I'm right. They put my pay my tax dues to my ID and they put you in jail. Exactly. Why is delicious for dinner tonight, hamsters? I made New York strip steaks, caramelized onions, mashed potatoes, corn. Last night, tonight, I made roast beef sandwiches. I was lazy tonight. I'm going to tell you something. I'm coming to your house, Judy. I'm going to come to your house. I am going to come to your house. All right. Now, Danny Stout, I don't know if you're available. <clears throat> in seven minutes, you're going on. Or uh, ten minutes. I do like farmers around here do with their tractor tires by adapter for water hose and then fill them up with water. Could you imagine the quality of the ride? Oh, wow. I did not know they did that. They, their tractor tires by adapter for water hose, fill them up with water. Could you imagine? I didn't know you could do that. Huh, very nice. Mmm, it sounds good. Actually, it sounds good. Salmon tonight, make dinner, it's yummy. 
ATM in a hospital. They actually should. They should. They, there's no ATMs in the hospital, so you have to leave the hospital to go get the money to pay pay the debt. And it's sad. It's sad. It's really sad. Now, I get a lot of times where a lot of it's good. Like, yeah, hey, man, loved your stream today. Nah, 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 nah. And I get a lot of that's good. I had lasagna with garlic, uh, MJ and go, the hapsters. That was my business when I moved there. Save an expense who need help in the hospital, but I would charge a premium for my time. You could do that. That Many people. Uh, the One of the guys that uh, that we just recently helped, uh, he had, um, uh, according to, to him, uh, 300K in the bank, and he did. He had 300K in the bank, but he couldn't get to it. Nobody could go down there and get it for him. He had uh, 30, 20, 30,000 in his pocket, but he needed like 50,000 for the operation he needed. He had insurance, but he needed like 40, 50,000. I don't know what it was. That is none of my business with the what he's in there for, right? The guy needed help, so. But the guy got it. He gave him money. I mean, it's not like if I, a uh, buddy in Naga, I call my buddy in Ilo Ilo or Naga or Bahol or Cavete or uh, who are, uh, I have a buddy down in Palawan now. Uh, I have them all, Dumaguete. I have them all over. I just pick up the phone and I say, hey, you know, no, 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 no. Can you help out this guy? Uh, you know, if he, I'll pay you for your time. And a lot of times they turn me down. They won't accept any money. We'll go back. So we go back. Somebody's, we go back 20 years. Uh, Eric Klein. Ah, Judy Fisher. I thank you. Thank you, Miss Judy. Thank you so much for your super chat. High five to you. And thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Love you, Mom. Love you. I want to see the Aircon bill. Robbie Morris. We just got it. 3,800 peso. Uh, she just paid it. 3,800 peso. Aircon here. Aircon 24-7 or close to it. Uh, house over here. Uh, so we got two houses. And she cooked a uh, numerous amount of cakes last month. Uh, she cooked 11 in one week. So it kind of gives you an idea. Yeah, so so uh, I, high five. And this is the key, Robbie Morris. Solar. 1.2 kilowatts on the roof. That's the key. 1200, 1,200 watts. Uh, mercury, the carrots and lasagna. Thank you. Thank you again, Judy. Thank you so much. MJ and cooked bamboo shoot meal. It looks delicious. I miss that good fresh bamboo. Uh, carrots and celery. S. Hart, thank you. Thank you, S. Hart. Thank you for the super chat. We really appreciate it. And thank you for thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you, S. Hart. Lorna, good morning. That was funny. So don't forget, now, uh, Daddy Stout's coming on in... Uh, Seven minutes. So, Danny, uh, if you're still on, make sure you get your everything ready. My AC bill is 150 bucks a month in Cambodia. I pay 23 cents a kilowatt. Mine are 11 cents a kilowatt, and I had 368 kilowatts that I used. And uh, but it's the taxes and fees now they're adding on. They can add anywhere from 10, 20, 20 dollars for fees. So uh, the so I can't. I'm I'm not gonna complain. What am I gonna complain about? What? I have electric and it's that. I'm not going to complain. I, I No carrots in it. That's a bad thing. Don't listen to everything you see on YouTube. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Carrots? Carrots? That room was originally built to mine bitcoins. After mining a couple of hundred, I sold systems to someone with too much money. He didn't want to R23 room to go to waste. <clears throat> what a great idea, though. R23 room. That's uh, it's basically a sandwich panel room. <laughs> Uh, tofu. That's good. I love tofu. Where's mine? I like tofu. Ah, uh, Wolfen. Wolfen, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. Yeah, look at Daddy. He's on. Seven minutes, six minutes early. He's so excited. He's on. Mercury, I love lasagna. I think that's my, my favorite pasta meal. Ravioli is a close second. I really love goulash, too. Very simple, but good. Yeah, so <clears throat> Danny is on. Wolfen, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Everything is real but me. Judy, we love Italian food, but to be honest, I love most of all foods except raisins. Balut, durian, and other foods not meant for human consumption. <laughs> uh, Jeb Jam, tofu sushi is good. Yeah, I like tofu. I married B. Joy on her BD. That's the way I'm in double trouble when I forget. And 
only need one present. Scott Bears. So, BD, I can only imagine what that is. I don't know what that is in your mind. I Scoot, I have no idea, but I think I know. Kanoi, thank you, sir. <clears throat> thank you, Kanoi. Thank you for the super chat. We really appreciate it. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, Kanoi. Thank you for uh, the super chat. Thank you, sir. Hope you're doing good there, Canada. I saw your videos. It's very clean there, man. It's very nice there. Of course, I bet it's cold. Thank you, Kanoi. So nice of you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. We're doing very well, Kanoi. Very well, very well, very well today. I'm doing really good. We're doing really good. JG, I'm sorry to say, but I'm a Mankati hater. I love Ganoshi. Ganashi. Gano. How do you say that? I forgot. Ganoshi. Even better than a ravioli. Yeah, how are you doing? Robbie Morris, I like solar. Have to get with you later on that. Yeah, Robbie, works pretty good. Uh, okay, okay for me. Okay, we got the... Uh, well, we got we got the fridge and TV and satellite and the internet and all that stuff on there now. I'm just getting home, Kanoi. I know you're tired. High five to you, sir. High five. High five. Oh man, uh, Tom, that's another good idea. Have a mobile ATM or credit card machine. Go to the hospital bedside and let them do a withdrawal for a small fee. The withdrawal will go through your cell phone. You can easily do that. Yeah, they got a app. You can do it and just swipe it. What a good idea. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody, and there's many guys that do that because the hospitals do not take credit cards. They will not take them. You have to leave the hospital. In fact, they have a pharmacies a lot of times. You have to buy your own medicine. You have to buy all your supplies there, and then they operate on you. So that's how they do it. So they give you a list of supplies you need to buy. Then they operate on you, and whatever's left is yours, or they keep it, or I don't know how they do that. I don't really know. So uh, that's the deal. Or you have to go off premises. Here, in some cases, you got to go off premises to buy your pharmaceutical needs. So, great idea, Mitch. I know, I know, I know. Bring a tire gauge compressor and a tank, going to open a tire inflation shop. I tell you what, simple things like that, you'd be surprised. Great idea what Mitch is saying about that. You could easily do that. Open up that, really easy. Uh, monthly expense vlog for September. Yes, I will, Gary T. I will have one. I will have one. It'll, it'll be on the next couple of days. Yeah. Two bucks a tire. Yeah, two bucks a tire. Chi Taurus. How you doing, Miss Chi? Thank you, thank you for coming on. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Che, 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 somebody's out here. Uh, yo's out here, Che, Che. Okay. Okay, we're coming. How are you? <laughs> we got to dig up our money. Got it. 11 cents is a steal. Yeah, 11 cents is a steal. It's the only, there's two, two, two that the uh, Philippine government owns. And this is one of them, two, two electrical power plants. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, yummy, yummy, yummy. How you doing, brother? Chi Torres? Uh, call. Judy, do you have, oh, you guys talking to each other. Yours is in the mail. Five-day ground service delivery, Scott. Why do some of my subscriptions get subscribed? I, have to, I had to resub to like 10 channels this week. Mercury, me too. Get this. I go, I haven't heard anything from, from uh, Rodney Full Circle and Kanoi in a while, right? I go on Kanoi, and I, I'm i subscribed to him. I leave comments all the time. Kanoi can vouch for it. It, it said unsubscribe. So I, I started going down through all the people that I remember. And Kanoi and Rodney Full Circle, for some reason, it got unsubscribed. <sighs> I don't know. It's a, const it's a constant thing. I go... And I, I commented on, on Kanoi's when he's doing his walkabouts and eating at the Filipino restaurant and this, that, and other. And I go, what is going on with YouTube and taking my notifications off, right? Yeah. Oh, look at Mama. She can't get in the house. All these big packages here. Ah, is that, which one is that one, darling? Couch. Couch? Ah, yeah. We love all kinds of food, too. I love Chinese food almost as much as Italian. Me, too. I'll get anything really good idea to introduce your palate to all types of different foods. Yeah. Saw the Doha video city has, yeah, has changed a lot. You're right, Wolfen. I found with some of my stuff too, too. Yeah, Kanoi, it's weird, isn't it? Isn't it really weird how that works out? I, I found the same thing. It's good. She seasoned the fried tofu, then made sushi rolls. Ooh. Uh, Wash out of your solar by wiping down the pounds once a week. Yeah. Yeah. Bill? You're right. 
You are exactly right, my friend. And you have to get up there early in the morning, and you're going to get hot, hot, hot. Ooh, purple. <laughs> JJ is so happy right now. <laughs> She's running in the other room. I was going to get her. JJ, I wasn't going to do anything. I was straightening up my camera, darling. Uh, no, you come back in here, darling. Okay, you're going to go town? Uh, welcome, Tom. Uh, you know, high five to you guys. Thank you. Thank you for all the super chat. Thank you. Take a load off. Rest your worry self. Kick back, have a beer, put on that geo, and watch all the cute puppies, and watch us at the same time. Hello, Miss Chi Torres. Thank you all the time, and thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome, uh, Kanoi. We'll support you, my friend. We'll all support everybody here. Well, I guess... Um, Daddy Stout's on for his live stream today. We've been on exactly two hours and one minute. Uh, and, um, yes, yeah, actually it says two hours and one minute. We've been longer than that. I'm glad I just made it just in time, yeah. So today, Daddy Stout's going to have a live stream. He has a live stream going on now. So uh, what we can do, if you guys don't mind, it's entirely up to you. Uh, go check it out. And Miss Chi Torres, how are you doing again? I'm. We're doing good here. Chi Chi's happy. She got her purple covers in. Danny Stout is on. We're going to say bye. Everybody support Danny Stout. Even if you support him for 20 minutes, 10 minutes, or however long. It's really a, a, a I'm a little busy. Scott Bears, thank you, thank you. I won't go on camera, but she will go out in public. Exactly, Mercury. God bless. Thank you all, Mitch. Thank you all. S. Hart, thank you, uh, Judy. Thank you, thank you all. Mike T. Man. Uh, but man, how long would I like to be going through a mini bags of Hershey's? <laughs> I, hey, Mark, I can't wait. I love I love Halloween. <laughs> uh, thank you, Bill, Hapsters, uh, Chi, Mark. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Mercury. I have donuts, Robbie, uh, Robbie Morris. Check out Danny Stout, guys. Go check him out. Give him a little support. Help help out his channel. Uh, Chi Torres, thank you. Hapsters, thank you. <laughs> Judy Fisher. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on. Wolfen, thank you. Bill Pruitt. I want to thank everybody for spending their valuable time with us today. Uh, uh, thank you, Jeb Jam, Kanoi. Uh, if I miss you guys, I'll just go ahead and uh, end it. So thank you all for the super chat, and thank you for spending your time. God bless everybody. And I'll see you again on Sunday morning. Uh, we will be on again Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. And thank you again. God bless, God bless, God bless. And thank you again. Judy, thank you. Uh, Mom, we love you, and we will talk to you later. High five.